Hello, everybody, and welcome to Contained from the Mind of Cunnybun. So a very big thank you to Connie Bun, and I'm going to take a quick guess that this is from well and truly inside Connie Bun's suspiciously worrying sprite phase of map development. Yeah, instantly, instantly untrustable. Hello. Okay, I like, I do like it though. Anything weird and untrustable is just kind of fun in this game at this point. So you press and you slide slowly down into the floor. Okay, well, I guess we don't need that anymore because we've got you, who is also wonderfully two-dimensional. That needs to be an emoji in its own right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Connie Bun sprites are uh, something I've only seen Connie Bun play with in the map before. And um, I don't trust them. I don't trust them one bit, especially based on previous Connie Bun map experience, back when they were known as Terrified of Ice Cream and the sprites tried to eat you. So how do you work on a two-dimensional button you are in fact two-dimensional i probably shouldn't question that at this point so wait where's it gone where's the cube oh we're literally literally right on the edge of cubes so that it in fact goes completely invisible okay i'm sure there's a joke about uh, eating disorders in there somewhere you sit on there well against there the door freaks out and you again Immediately, suspiciously untrustable. Hello, what's that say? Hi, I'm the Weird Core. You don't say, mate. Any particular reason you're shaking your core ass at me? Do you even have a face? Do, do you even exist from this dimension? No, okay, sure. I'll, I'll leave you be in your interestingly wood-paneled corner. That, that looks a lot more like the voxel days of a map, right? Yes, a corridor which slowly descends into nothingness. Yeah, I'm sure there's only nice things ahead. Follow these? What do you say? Come here. Yeah, okay, let's listen to the voice. The lone voice in the dark void of nothingness. Come, come here. Here is somewhere down. Here is, here is somewhere entirely different altogether. Here's some teeny tiny text. Everything is completely normal. Yep. Of course it is. Hi. Do you happen to have two-dimensional bullets? You got anything to say? No, you're just going to stand there and flicker at me. Oh, I, oh, I pressed a button, apparently. Okay. Hi. Pew, pew. Aw. Even their attempts at killing you are adorable. This whole thing is oddly kind of... cute. Ever so slightly less now. In fact, now I'm looking at it, the cuteness... It's cute, right? But cute in a way of, you know, the little girl who cuts the hair off of her Barbie doll. Slightly adorable and creative, but um, probably should keep an eye on that, right? Something's definitely up in the future there. Uh, okay, so somewhat normal reality of a test chamber in its own dimensional quality. We've got more buttons here. What do you do? This button much quicker disappears into the floor, but this one returns. Do you... Do you only think I half expect one of these things to start chasing me at some point? Okay, I really like those. They appear to be very much enjoying the music along with the camera. Um, oh, hold on, what's that? This, this floor button toggles the activated state of the two orange portals when held down. Sure, I'll work out what that interprets when I actually get to it. Do you do anything? They don't seem to be interactable. It's even a two-dimensional cube delivery tube in here. Very nice. So what's in the pit? Uh, there's another turret. And auto portals because, well, we don't have a two-dimensional portal gun this time. Sure, so into you. Into you lets me get up to there, sort of, if like that, but better. Up to here. Up to here is another turret. This is not the way out. No, no, it's, it's clearly not. This is clearly a wall. But again, everything is up to interpretation at this point. So there's the floor button we were instructed about. It toggles the state of the two orange portals. And some giant this way idiot indicator arrows into an ominous red glow. Okay, well that can only be good for me. What do you say? Ah, oh, that's not related to that. That's, uh, that's the wall. Okay, so this button, this button moves a blue auto portal to this angled panel. Him shaking his ass at me again, so... Go up there to where there's another one of those uh, 
weirdly twirling mannequins. Yes, as a young boy I dreamed of being a baseball. Twirling, twirling, upwards towards freedom and something along the lines of a quote I clearly don't remember properly. Yeah. Connie Bun might be another one of those creators where we have to start asking if everything's okay at the end. Sure. Right, uh, button. The exit is up. The exit is up. The ominous red glow. It's just the walls. Okay, so the exit is up as indicated by the idiot arrows. What do you do? You? You? Weirdly let a cube come out of your side. Sure. And you're the only accessible floor button, so you want that cube to... Switch this over from the one on the floor down there. So launching, right? Launching three-dimensionally in a two-dimensional 3D space. Sure, I like these weird maps. Uh, where did that cube even go? Is that it down there? Yeah, there you are. Hi, you're kind of hard to see from the side. Really like that, though. Um, so you need to get up to that button up there. Uh, let's swap you. Do you swap? You're connected to this, right? So you swap back to that one so let's get you up to the higher level into the three-dimensionally two-dimensional pit and upper level like so so i've got to chuck you against that to swap the panels around right that's not against that's sort of on top on top is normally what we want not not so much now so the orange portal's up there now and you've you've closed that off okay so the orange portal's moved but i'm still in a position of like flinging, right? So I can use this one. This one launch me upwards somewhere good towards the ominous red glow. That's a bunch of text that I'm not quick enough to read. It says, it says, it says it's the end of the map. Uh, yeah, okay, then no idea what all the flying text in the void was trying to tell me. Uh, rather easy, short and creepy, but didn't exactly feel like the sort of place you want to, you know, hang around in too long. That was contained, released from the mind of Connie Bun. So a very big thank you to Connie Bun for that one, and very refreshing to see that the sprites aren't quite so hungry these days. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.